Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how to solve a problem that you might run into in multiprint when you're doing an island. So here you see I have an island and these cabinets are on the face of my island and this cabinet is on the back of my island. So it all looks great here, but when when you go to multiprint, it's not you're not going to be able to put this into one view very easily. So if we get out of this And we go to multi-print. So now you see I brought in both views. So I have the end and I have this. And we're going to go ahead and combine these. So I'm going to drag this over fairly closely. I'm going to pick this one. And then I'll hold shift. Select the other one. Do right click. And I'm going to align on the bottom. That way they line up. And now click off of it, click back into this one, and hit M for move, and then use your arrow keys to move it. And then when you get close, if you hold down Shift, you can it'll it'll do micro movements. So now I have those where I want them. So it's gonna look like one view, and you saw it move there because I forgot to hit Escape. So when I move my mouse, it moved. Um, so now I have them where I where I want them. I'm going to want to turn the dimensions off. So I'll go to my layers and I'm just going to uncheck elevation dimensions on this one. So now I clean those dimensions off and now you see my baseboard isn't quite what it should be. Um, so I'm just going to draw those lines in over top and that'll clean it. Actually before I do that I want to do something else here so pick a point draw across and it's not showing up for some reason oh I know why so make sure you're clicked into the correct view here um, I'm going to click into this one and then the line's only going to show up when I draw in that one. So there we go. And now I want to hide this line so I'll show you how I do that. Um, I'm going to click on another line. I'm going to just pick some points here, draw a line in, um, pick the line, set it to white. And I usually make these a little heavier, maybe two or three, just to make sure it covers it. And then I'm going to drag this down. And again, I know you can flatten these views and then you can delete the lines, but I try not to flatten my views so that if I do any updates, that it, they will auto update. Um, so now I have that line in, and then I want to draw, since this is a beveled baseboard, I want to draw a line across for the bevel and there we go so we cleaned it up now we have one view um, you just want to make sure that if you do go to move that at all that you select both of them at once otherwise you're going to lose your alignment but now we can move that around and it looks like one view thanks for watching don't forget to like and follow